today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Olisa. I'm a crude review YouTuber who's trying to have a yellow no buy. And today it is the fourth part in my Colourpop week. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I can leave my first part up here or when I talked about this week. So I am a YouTube channel that is having a no buy and I'm trying to like figure out how to make this work. So I have had some few weeks this year and today and this week is my Colourpop, my forgotten Colourpop, <laughs> Colourpop or my maybe neglected Colourpop palettes. So I picked out five palettes and today I'm going to use the Zodiac palette. This was the collab between Kathleen Lights and Colourpop and I have actually used this palette quite a lot. I think 13 times to be exact because I did a series with this one. I can leave that video or that playlist up here. I did use one each of the Zodiac's colors at the Zodiac sign. And the thing is with this palette, some of the colors are super amazing and I really really love them. Some of them are pure shit. And I actually think that I know exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to prime my eyes and then we're going to get started. And I don't remember how all the shades were in this palette. But I you know like this was pure shit. And I think it's this one that is like hard pan. But this one, the Gemini, is one of the best shimmers I have tried from Colourpop. So I'm going to do a look with this one. And I think I'm going to go in with this one as well. Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini and Libra. So yeah, I guess we're going to start. And I hope this will look good. I don't think I've used this palette because I did that series. So I did one look a month with this one. And then in the end of that year or maybe the beginning of year after I did do a um, palette bingo with this. I don't think I've used this since maybe some of the shades but uh, this has not been a palette that I've been picking up. And do you have this palette? I can't remember when this came out and I did not buy it like when it came. And um, this is a collab palette, as I said, between Colourpop and Kathleen Lights. And I don't think I have ever watched a whole video from Kathleen Lights. If I'm not mistaken, didn't you get cancelled as everybody? I think it was like some problematic TikToks? No, not TikToks. Instagram lives maybe? I don't know. But I, I have no idea. I like didn't even know. I think I like bought this palette and then I was like, I wonder who Kathleen Lights is. And I think she also did... Was it with Makeup Geek like... Highlighter and blush palette or highlight palette? I don't know. But I didn't buy this because of Kathleen Lights. Because yeah, I didn't know who she was. I bought it because I thought that I was going to like this palette. And I'm going to talk more about this like in the end. When I'm doing a little review on this palette, but it's not going to be a good review. Oh, or, or not all good. Maybe some would be good, but not not everything. That was the color Libra, which I guess is Vågen in Swedish. And now I'm going in with Sagittarius. That has to be Skitten. Because I guess that these are some of the Latin names. Is it only Latin names? Maybe not. And I am I'm good with the Swedish ones, but like with the English names on it. But I think I think it's Sagittarius. 
think my boyfriend is Sagittarius. I have no idea. Star sign isn't isn't my thing. I know when I was a child though, when I was around maybe 10 or something, I thought it was really fun to like learn which star sign is when and uh, I knew a lot more then. Now I know like kind of when they are. So if somebody tells me when they are born, I kind of can guess which one. And if you're wondering what I am, I am Pisces. And one thing I hate about that, it's every time it's going to be like a palette, a shade, something with Pisces, I know that it is, and Pisces in Swedish is fiskarna, like fishes or fish. Um, and I know that it's, it's a water sign, but like, we always get like the bluish, the most dull shade ever. I'm so annoyed by that. I don't know why, but I don't know even why I care, but every time. I just know that every time it's going to be a palette or a collection that is based on star signs. It's going to be something boring and blend when it comes to Pisces, like every fucking time. And like, I don't care that much because I don't have a problem to buy it. I don't only need to use my sign when it comes to makeup because I, frankly, I don't care, but it just annoys me a little bit. Like I always get the boring stuff. And in this palette, maybe it's not like the most boring shade, but it is a really bad shade. And do you know what I'm going to do later on? I'm going to do a cut crease, but I think you might have guessed that already. Because you knew who you are looking at. So I'm going to take the... I haven't put up, taken out any brushes. I usually do that be on before. Start to film in, like I have them in my... So I'm going to continue with Sagittarius Huitten. I love it if I say this wrong. Uh, and then I'm going to go in with Scorpio. That is Scorpionen. Scorp it has to be Scorpionen. And then I'm going in with Gemini. That is Tvillingen in Swedish. Either if there is a fellow Swede that is watching me that knows that I'm wrong or just shut up about it. I know it would take me like two seconds to Google this. <laughs> I'm not. I think in my Syria that I actually did tell what the sign was in Swedish. Okay, this color isn't that good. What I could remember, I thought that this was going to be better. It's like not that super pigmented and yeah, this palette is old, but I have older color pops that is still better. That is still good, maybe I should say. I actually think that I want to cut this crease because I don't want shimmer all over. So I'm going to take my NYX. Or me? No, okay. Okay, no, I I'm not going to do that. I'm going in with Gemini, this one, that is Tvillingen. This is just such a good shade. And I can't remember if they sold these as singles. Because what I can remember, it was like a whole collection with these. It was this palette and I think there was some highlighters as well. And maybe lipsticks? Or did that came later on? But I also think that they released this as singles. I'm not completely 100% on that one, but I think they did. What I, I think they also did some other star sign inspired things. Didn't they do like little quads or something like that? Yeah, you hear I'm not an expert at Colourpop. At all. 
this gold shade I love to pair it with the green and that was what I did in my monthly look then with the Gemini I can leave that picture here this is one of my absolute favorite makeup looks ever I think that might have been like my first um, green gold red lip I'm going to swirl this brush. I'm really trying my best to not use too many of my brushes like at once. So I'm trying to like not do that. So I will take Scorpio and connect this with a mat. I have no idea what I want to take for lips for this. I can often feel like I'm missing something in my lip stick collection, but I have like no idea what. I do have a lot of lipsticks, so I can't like imagine that I would be missing something, but it always feels like something is missing. Or I'm just a bad at matching my lipstick with my eye makeup. Do you see that this is more gold than this one? I'm gonna have to fuck it up. I hate when I do this. It's not often maybe that I do fuck up nowadays. I think I might going to be happy with this because I think I can destroy it even more. It's maybe not what I wished for. I wish that... Um, the Sagittarius was a little bit deeper. I know I have this black one with the shimmer, the Capricorn. That we are not going to try to guess with it. Is it Stenbocken? I think it's Stenbocken. Uh, Capricorn, I'm not going to mess with this. I think I'm just going to have it like this. And I think I maybe just need the base and the under eyes. So I will fix that and then I come back and we will see how I feel about this and I will also talk. But I, I think it might be strange to do a review on such an old palette that is no longer available. But I can talk a little bit about the palette. This is the finished look for my face. I did use Ombra, Truth and All Song from Nabla. My waterline I did use Honeydew from Colourpop use all the time and for my lips I took anemia from lethal and topped it up off with the dusty rose infinity gloss from LH cosmetics and I do <laughs> like the look so I did use Gemini Scorpio Libra and Sagittarius and the problems I have had with this palette and that I still feel like I do have is it is very inconsistent. Like when it comes to Colourpop they have some really amazing palettes that I do really really love and think that are really really good. Then they have palettes that are not good like at all. But this palette and it feels like 12 different people did this together and now it has been a while since I bought a new palette from Colourpop because I have had an buy this year so I think they have gone better than this but like some of the shades in this palette is so so bad like some of the shimmers are like hard pan it's not a good payoff and some of the mattes aren't good like at all like this shade it is a little bit hard to work with and it's not like that pigmented and it's not because this is old because it has never been super good like this has never been an amazing palette from Colourpop which I think maybe is a little bit sad because I, I thought that like this idea was fun and I do like how it looks it might is a little bit boring like around here I think they could have done some more fun matte shades but um, I think 
if the formula was better on this, I think I would have liked it more. And I am so sorry that I've said star signs because that is what it is in Sweden. It is Schantecken, but of course it's zodiacs in English. So, so sorry. <laughs> I guess that you have been annoyed about that like the whole video. But yeah, this is my look with the Zodiac palette. It's not my favorite, but I do like have some special memories with this one because of the series I did and everything. So I will not decluttering this and I do love like this Gemini shade. It's really, really good. But the palette is not good as a whole palette. Some of the shimmer, some of the colors are really good. And the thing that annoys me like the most with this one, the mattes. Um, <laughs> like these more neutrals are so, so good. This one and this one aren't that good. Which is a little bit sad, but that's just how it is. And I guess that that was all for this video. Tomorrow is the last video for this week and it's going to be at Forest Sight. And this is another collab palette. This is with Raw Beauty Christy. It looks like this if you didn't know. I have no idea what I want to do with this one. I think I have to go back and see what I did in my first impression. I think I'll do that. But yeah, I do really hope that you liked this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!